Okay, I've stitched all of the first um, rows of upright rice stitch using the metallic braid. And one of the things that you can do to make sure that you're all lined up properly is just to take the tip of your needle and trace it down to make sure that the inside points are the same this way and this way. And that will help you to make sure that you're properly lined up. There are 18 upright rice stitches along each side. And when I'm counting them, I'm counting this one and this one as 18. And then for this one, on this side, I count this upright rice stitch again as part of the 18 on this side. Now we're ready to begin stitching another a series of upright rice stitches just like the ones we we did using the number eight pearl cotton and we're going to be stitching just inside and connecting shared holes with this border. So I'm going to begin again with an away knot. I'm going to stitch toward the knot. When I come to it I'm going to clip it off. These are the exact same size and shape, stitched in exactly the same order, but I'm making sure that my um, stitches are connecting. They're sharing holes with the first border. This part does take some time, but when you have your border correctly stitched in, it makes everything else much easier. Our border for this piece is a little bit unusual in that it's not on the outside edge, but it is framing the large motif stitch that's going to be in the center. Now this time we're going to have 16 rice, upright rice stitches along each diagonal side. I did not mention how I ended off each thread. I began each thread with an away knot just like this. But to end off, I took my needle and wove through the backs of the stitches on the wrong side. Um, these are small, dense stitches and provide a lot of area where you can safely put your, um, weave your needle through on the back to end off your threads. Then to start a new thread, I did another away knot placed where I was stitching toward the knot. And when I come to the knot, I clip it off. And I did that each time I started a new length. Okay, so this shows you about how I'm going to be stitching this border. I will finish it off camera and then we'll be ready for our large motif stitch.